Hi guys. Welcome to next episode of Choose the Best. Today we will review best home projectors in the market in 2020. Please like the video and subscribe to my channel. You can write a comment for products and video. You can find the products by link in the description section. Enjoy the video. Number 5. Epson Powerlite 1781 watts. Projector provides a winning combination of good brightness and resolution, above par data and video image quality, and a good set of wired and wireless connection choices in a slim and light frame. The all-black projector measures a thin 2 by 11.5 by 8.3 inches and weighs 4 pounds. There's a zoom wheel behind the lens, as well as a focus control that uses forward and back arrows, with which I was able to get a sharp image. Beside the focus control are a four-way controller with a central enter button, a non-off button, home, menu, and several other buttons. You can also access these and other functions with the included remote control. The projector comes with a soft carrying case, including several pouches and a messenger strap. You get all the ports that count for a portable data projector, VGA, HDMI, RCA video, audio in, a Type-B USB port for USB plug and play, and a Type-A USB port for running a computer-free presentation off a USB thumb drive. It has a built-in LAN module for connecting to a wireless network, and it can connect wirelessly via NFC over a peer-to-peer -peer connection with compatible Android devices. Number 4. BenQ's HT2150ST. Does swimmingly for both gaming and home theater. Its minimal lag gives gamers an important reaction time edge, while solid color accuracy, contrast, and black levels excel for viewing in a dark room. The HT2150ST is first and foremost a home theater projector meant for use in a dark room or in low light situations. It's built around a single DLP chip and a six segment, RGB RGB color wheel, a choice that yields lower brightness but better color accuracy than wheels that include a white panel. Its rating of 2200 ANSI lumens for its brightest predefined picture mode can boost brightness when you need it to stand up to ambient light, but as with almost any projector, the lower brightness modes deliver better color accuracy. The most obvious feature strictly for gaming is the fast lag time, which I measured at 16.4 milliseconds in both game and game modes. That said, some features that make the HT2150ST a gaming projector can be just as important for home theater. Gamers often take their projectors to friends' houses, which is why BenQ includes a soft carrying case with a projector. The short throw lens is the only way to get a suitably large image in small rooms. It can be just as useful for turning a small room into a home theater space. The HT2150ST weighs only 7.3 pounds and measures 4.8 by 15 by 10.9 inches, making it easy to find room for. Number 3. Anchor Nebula Mars 2 Pro. The entertainment-oriented Anchor Nebula Mars 2 Pro has good brightness, resolution, and image quality for a mini projector, and it doubles as a Bluetooth sound system. It's best for home use, as it isn't as portable as some of its peers. At 5.4 by 4.8 by 7 inches and weighing 3.9 pounds, the Mars 2 Pro is larger and heavier than other entertainment projectors we have reviewed recently. Tub-like, with a matte black top and steely gray sides, it has a cloth strap to lug it around. It looks rather like a hand basket. A better analogy, though, is a handheld lantern. When not in use, the lens is concealed behind a protective cover. When the cover is pulled down, the projector turns on in the Mars 2 Pro's DLP-based light engine, using an LED light source with a rated lifetime of 30,000 hours, pumps out up to 500 ANSI lumens. The Mars 2 Pro has a built-in rechargeable battery with a massive 12,500 mAh capacity. This is good for up to 3 hours of movie playback, according to Anchor. Like so many of its recent peers, the projector doubles as a Bluetooth speaker system, in this case a powerful stereo setup combining a pair of 10 watt speakers. To enter Bluetooth speaker mode, you depress the Bluetooth button for about 5 seconds, when you will hear the words entering Bluetooth speaker mode. You can then pair the speaker with a phone or tablet, and stream music to it. Ports are all in the back and comprise a jack for the AC adapter, one HDMI input for connecting to a computer or other video source, and one USB Type-A port that fits a thumb drive, plus an audio out jack for connecting to headphones or external speakers. On the projector's bottom is a threaded hole that fits a tripod. On either side are grills for the speakers. Number 2. BenQ's TH585. 
projector delivers low input lag for gaming, enough brightness for a large image that stands up to ambient light, and good color accuracy and contrast at a low price. The TH585 is built around a single 1920 by 1200 pixel DLP chip, but it uses only 1920 by 1080 pixels, which gives the projector a 1080p native resolution. The yellow segment lets the projector produce a brighter, more vibrant yellow than many DLP projectors can manage. For movies and TV, it offers excellent color accuracy and contrast. And for either use, it's bright enough to throw a big picture that can stand up to ambient light. The TH585 weighs 6.2 pounds and measures 4.3 by 12.3 by 8.9 inches, making it small enough to pick up in one hand. Image inputs include one HDMI port, one MHL port, and a VGA port. Number 1. Optimus HD39 HDR Offers low input lag for fast reaction time in games, plus sufficient brightness for a large movie or game image to stand up easily to ambient light in a family room. Optima includes the HD39 HDR on its lists of both gaming projectors and home entertainment projectors for watching movies and TV in ambient light. Another feature of particular interest to gamers is the projector's compact size, which makes it easy to bring to a friend's house, or to store when not in use. The sound system, with an onboard 10-watt speaker, can also come in handy, thanks to robust enough volume to fill a small family room. That said, the sound quality is marginal enough that you'll likely want to plug an external sound system into the 3.5mm audio out jack. Note, too, that Optima doesn't include a carrying case for the projector. Setting up the HD39 HDR is standard fare. At 7.7 pounds and 4.5 by 12.4 by 9.5 inches, the body is easy to handle. The 1.3x zoom offers flexibility for positioning, and the plus, 40 degree vertical keystone lets you square off the image if you need to tilt the projector to point at the screen. The HD39 HDR's high brightness is thanks in part to its 6 segment RIG CWB color wheel, paired with a single 1.920 by 1.080 DLP chip. The yellow panel helps it produce a brighter, more vibrant yellow than many DLP projectors offer, while the white panel lets it deliver a brighter image than it could without one.